just after three o'clock as well. Mary's on the way from four, and then it's midweek sport with John Akers at seven o'clock this evening. On 94.6 FM, on digital and online, this is BBC Radio Stoke. Across Aviture in Cheshire, this is BBC Radio Stoke, and at four o'clock, the latest news with Tim Wedgwood. The British National Party has insisted that it will continue to use pictures of the Spitfire, despite being severely criticised by a group of retired army generals. General Sir Mike Jackson and General Sir Richard Dannett signed a letter that said extremists had no right to share the armed forces heritage. The BMP leader and North West MEP Nick Griffin says he doesn't see why his party should stop using them. We will continue to use the Spitfire as a symbol of our determination to keep faith with the boys who fought and died in those planes. A boy from the Staffordshire Moorlands who was run over and left brain damaged on a paper round is suing his employers for damages at the High Court in London today. BBC Radio Stoke's Stuart Fear has the story. The court was told Joshua Smith of Hollington Road in Teen applied for his job the day after his 13th birthday in August 2005. He was asked to start the next day. His lawyers say Co-op Group Limited should have given him safety advice before he took up his round, some of which took place on a busy main road. The company have Admitted breach of duty and conceded that standard induction procedures weren't adhered to. However, they deny that was the cause of the accident and insist that it was down to a combination of a loss of attention on Joshua's part and negligence by the driver of the lorry. The driver denies any blame and the trial is due to last four days. Talks between postal workers and Royal Mail management are continuing. Members of the Communication Workers Union are due to hold two national 24-hour walkouts on Thursday and Friday. It's in a dispute over pay, jobs and working practices. Around 15 councillors could be about to lose their seats on Stoke-on-Trent City Council. The Boundary Committee for England has been looking into reducing their number from the current 60. Today it's announced its recommendation on council size after a report said the people of the city were being short-changed by the way the councils run. Max Caller is the chairman of the committee. Our next stage of consultation is about determining ward boundaries and we'll go through a number of stages of that process before we come up with our final recommendations which we anticipate will end up um, not in front of the City Council, although they'll be able to comment, but the decision will be taken probably in Parliament in time for the 2011 elections. The government's being urged to keep the UK's largest haul of Anglo-Saxon treasure in the Midlands. The collection of 1,500 pieces of gold and silver was found on a Staffordshire farm by a man using a metal detector. The Labour MP, Tom Watson, told the Commons Culture Committee the treasure should remain in the region. The Culture Secretary, Ben Bradshaw, replied that the idea is being considered. I'd certainly like to uh, join in those warm congratulations and say yes, I think it would be admirable if it could be, and, and we're working uh, with the, the regional development agency and others to see whether that and, and our and our partner bodies to see whether that is a deliverable aspiration and robbie williams will play his comeback gig at the roundhouse in london tonight his first full concert for three years he's making a low-key return to the stage after speaking about how stage fright has deterred him from announcing a full uk tour sport now here's matt sanders stoke city defender robert hooth has admitted to the fa's charge of violent conduct and has apologized for the incident at the britannia stadium on saturday hooth was caught by the television cameras for lashing out at west ham's matthew upson meanwhile striker ricardo fuller has revealed to bbc radio stoke that he's been told to lose weight by by his manager Tony Pulis. The Liverpool captain Steven Gerrard is fit to play against Lyon in tonight's crunch Champions League Group E game at Anfield. Arsenal play AZ Alkmaar. The Port Vale board is still confident that Mickey Adams will still sign his contract extension despite him wanting some assurances from investors Harlequin Property who are considering offering TV pundit Andy Townsend a football advisor's role at the club. Port Vale's opponents this weekend Cheltenham have placed their manager Martin Allen on gardening leave and Crew Alexander have taken French goalkeeper Bertrand Bossu on on trial as the search for a number one goalkeeper continues. He played in the reserves 5-3 defeat at Birmingham this afternoon. That's your sport. More in full at 4.30. The weather cloudy with further outbreaks of rain although the rain will become lighter and more patchy tonight. Temperatures down to 10 Celsius 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll stay wet and windy for Wednesday but it will clear up later in the day with a top temperature of 14 Celsius 57 Fahrenheit. BBC Radio Stoke News at 4 minutes past 4. 